Hello viewers and welcome back to part 5 of Hellblade Xenowatch Sacrifice. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafner, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart. What is it? She can feel it. No. Don't open the door. No, go in. Don't turn back. Turn back. It's dangerous. Get back. What's it? Get back. A great beast guards Helheim. Garm is its name. And it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How will you save Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it! The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. It's me, Senua. It's so loud. It's not her. It's so 
full of hate. I just want to help them. Tell me what to do. Your father wants them to go away. And he only hurts me to silence them. But he's gone now. But they always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say I'm already dead. No, no they want me with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't do you to them. see them? <laughs> do you see their faces? <gasps> He's coming! Senor! Help me! Help! Get me out of here! Don't go! Where has she gone? She's disappeared again. She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She, she took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father. It's in Belle. Her torch is going I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it? It's not going to burn out. The darkness will come again. Come out. 
Wow, they're, they're getting uh, very excited there, lady. Can you feel them? Can you see them? Where are they? She has she, them. she did it. She doesn't know. She's done it. Tell me of this place. It reminds her of the isolating, suffocating darkness that she lived through as a young girl. Imprisoned in her room at night. The faces in the dark. Everyone could see them. I mean, that's what children say all the time, isn't it? That there are monsters in the dark. By the time she realized that only she could see them, her father could see the monster in her. Rian the Dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rian would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rian reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rian go in search of Fafnir.
Way to go. Unfair, dude. That was an unfair death. I was stuck there. That was an unfair death. The light works. She's like a torch. Fight the end. On the floor. 
Searching for weakness. It found your mother yes. and used her to trap you in here. Did you see her die? I don't remember. I was only five. They told me she escaped the darkness, that she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Here we go. Where is the door is open. It's a trap. The beast is coming. Stupid baby. Run away from Father's keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here. I'm going to find Tilly. Suppose we do that. Nice. Hang on, buddy. We're coming. All right. Just hang on. If we go, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
The mirror. The mirror, Lucas. It's built. It's built. You're stronger than me. Here first, maybe there's something we can do here. Oh, this, yo, yeah, stairs here. Okay. this puzzle a long time ago. But no. I'm not stop chooming. Dragon Fafner is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day, Fafner crawls across the heath, 
to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafnir slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd Although leaps from Sigurd the kills the dragon, Rian wants to keep Fafnir's gold all for himself. Rian also wants the strength and wisdom of the dragon, so he drinks its blood and asks Sigurd to roast Fafnir's heart for him. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby.
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. People think of evil as an unnatural, invisible force, and so invoke the guards for protection. But evil can come from the hand behind the guards. A familiar hand, cold and cruel. He tried to fix her with his rituals, kept her trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse. Man, I'm so the darkness. It out again. Or the monster that her father had become. She couldn't fight them both. And so she left. Headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her. If she had stayed, she wouldn't have survived. Maybe Delian would still be alive. I'm so sorry, my love. She will save his soul. Even if this time she can't save her own. Dude, the darkness is I'm rotting, eh? <laughs> I've been failing a lot lately. 
Especially with that puzzle earlier. Forgive me, Senua. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. But believe this. It was my mission to make you hate. To hate the darkness with a passion so great it would focus your mind on this quest. Yeah, over here, you go there. Get the bridge. Go around. I feared you would have let go of this life. All this time, I wanted to protect you from the truth that would have destroyed you a long time ago. But you have conquered your darkness at every turn. You deserve to see behind the veil of darkness. Then take me to the master to trust you as deep as we can go. No. I won't stand in your way. She has to trust him. You will not survive what is in there. What else can she do? Nothing. She doesn't want to tell me. She has nothing. She's come this far. She wants to go forward. She wants this. Let's go forward. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Going, What? Alice came to me. <laughs> I know you're safe with the gods. Oh, my trick me. I can feel Hannah's gaze searching for secrets inside of me. Secrets that even I can't see. I'm not here to fight my past. I'm here for Dillion. I will fulfill my vow. Whatever the cost. She can see it. She can't cross the bridge. It's broken. She has to fix it. It's too dangerous. She's done it before. She can't fix it. She's, She's done, done it before. She can. She can. She'll do it again. How will she do it? Yeah. Yeah. There must be a way. So you have to try. say the world will come to an end. <coughs> they call this Ragnarok, the destiny of the gods. First, there will be a terrible winter, three years long. Then, mankind will turn on itself. Brothers will fight each other to the death, and people will forget what they owe their kindred. Times will be hard. Crimes will be great. It will be an age of axes and swords. The wind will blow through abandoned halls. Wolves will walk where children played. The world will fall into ruin. Okay, that's one part of it. Okay. Does that make me run back up here? <laughs> let's see, let's see. Hmm. Nothing over here. <laughs>
was good. That was a good, a good fight. How will she do it? What will she do? <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we're How getting there. I need to get a bigger hard drive for storage because uh or I need all my no, files of the day. I don't know. I'm not the the best of computers. So no one can uh, bargain with Helen. Okay, no. What can she give her? She could give her her own soul. No. That is, she has that is, uh, worth the soul, like wow. A cursed soul. She can see it. The bridge. She can't cross the bridge. It's broken. She has to fix it. It's too dangerous. She's done it before. You have to fight on. Be powerful. The final battle. Get these soul back. It's the final task. Yes, it is. This isn't just a broken bridge, is it? You showed me how to see further. To see the hidden wonders in our world and explore new paths into the unknown. To lead so that others may follow or to warn so that they may avoid. That is our gift and our duty. I'm not going to look away in fear anymore. Nothing. Okay. Maybe I have to go on the bridge and look this all, this way. Maybe theory is a theory. She's found a way. There's a way. Yeah, boy, we got it. Okay. She can do it. That's the door. Very cool. Cool, 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 man. These puzzles are interesting, eh? The Northmen say the gods will fight their last battle at Ragnarok. Their watchmen will blow the horn that can be heard through the whole world. And Odin will speak with the severed head of Mimir, which gives him good counsel. The land of the giants will thunder with the sound of their army on the move. The gods will assemble. The dwarves will leave their stones. The frost giants will come from the east. The Midgard serpent will turn up the waves. Eagles will scream and tear at the corpses with their I yellow beaks. The ship of the dead will set sail.
And that's the end of the video, goodbye.